Mattress Mac, a man with a big heart, housing, feeding, and helping those in need. But he also has heart problems. Mac is not shy, sharing a lot about his health on social media. My stomach's real sore from the cut. He recently had open heart surgery, like three of his siblings. It started with his sister when she was just a child. Way back in the 60s when she was uh, 11, 12 years old and my uh, brother died of uh, congestive heart failure, my other sister Mary has had uh, uh, valve replacement, so it's, it's congenital. No surprise then, years ago, Jim and Linda McInvale were the first major investors in a new kind of mechanical heart developed with the Texas Heart Institute in Houston. There would be no Bivacorf one for us because you know, it's, a, it's a million to one uh, venture. Of course, I've been known to gamble a little bit. Their $8 million gamble appears to be paying off. I knew something was wrong when I couldn't put on my steel toe boot. Batson Avey, a truck driver from Hockley, had congestive heart failure. As he awaited a human heart transplant, Batson, like many patients, became too sick for a conventional ventricular assist device, which attaches to the human heart. Instead, Batson's entire heart needed to be removed and replaced with this new kind of mechanical heart. That had only been tested by animals, cows, horses. Doctors were asking Batson to be the first human ever to use the Bivacor device. It fits inside the human chest like this, weighs just under one and a half pounds, so is slightly heavier than the human heart. It's made out of titanium, has no valves, and what's inside is a revolutionary design. Dr. Joseph Rogers, CEO of the Texas Heart Institute, is the principal investigator in the human trials. There's only one moving part, and it's a spinning disc inside the pump that balances the circulation between the right side of the heart and the left side of the heart. That spinning disc is suspended in a strong electromagnet. Batson's wife, Ruby, says they put their trust in science and faith. We just asked God to, like, touch the doctor's hand. In July, doctors implanted the bivocal heart in Batson at the Texas Medical Center, making him patient one in the FDA clinical trials. And even on his first walk in the hospital, Batson felt a huge improvement. Before the transplant, sir, how far were you able to go uh, on this trip? About six feet. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Yeah, wow. All mechanical hearts right now are merely bridges buying patients time until a human heart transplant. And that's what happened for Batson. They typically last about 12 years. So if Bivacor can really make a permanent artificial heart, it'll be a game changer. FDA has now greenlit the next phase of clinical trials. Sherman Min Chow, KHOU 11 News. Houston, always at the forefront of modern medicine. One of the advantages of living here. So fortunate, are mm -hmm. we?